Hi, everybody. This is the beginning of week six. Some exciting news is we have now set our fundraising goal. So we are looking to raise $25,000 for the specific goal of being able to purchase a SAVE vehicle. That's a sensory activation vehicle. It's something Culture City has invented. And we're gonna show you a quick clip right now so you can see what we're talking about. This is the optimal layout for a room in which I would hang out in. this so much. It's such a wonderful idea. I'm very happy to see this here. I hope that in any event that I go to around the city or in other cities, I can see more of these. Um, so he was able to come in here and uh, play with some light switches and bubbles and beanbag chairs and just be in a cool, safe environment and calm down. This place is actually a really good place for kids with autism and you can hang out here some kids don't get to do stuff like this and go to events like this, and this is how you can. Thank you, Culture City. So that's what it is. These things are fantastic. I've been in one myself. My kids have used it. We used it outside of Culture Ball, Birmingham last year when things got a little loud for my son Lucas. We went out and sat down in the SAVE vehicle and he really loved it. So that's what we're raising money for. More good news, we have a sponsor. We have a sponsor. Polka is going to sponsor me for this race. They're sending me shoes, some gear. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm very excited about it. And they are donating $5,000 towards our fundraising I'm excited about these new shoes because Hoka, I understand, has a lot more padding than the typical shoes, than like the New Balance that I've been wearing. So um, I'm excited to try and see if they feel better on my knees. What else can I tell you? I went to the doctor. My knees are going to be okay. I have inflamed plicas. It is, it's like the joint lining in your knee. The doctor was telling me it's kind of like the appendix, like nobody knows what it's for. <laughs> and you can take it out. No one seems to suffer from it. He said, unfortunately, what it does do is cause lots of pain when it gets inflamed. The good news is uh, it's nothing serious and I can keep training. Um, the bad news is, is if it stays inflamed, it's gonna hurt. So I'm icing, I'm heating. Also this week, I'm going to do a Spanish language talk show called Noches con Platanito, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's gonna be me and Kimmy Shields. Hi guys, I'm Christopher Gorham. And I'm Kimmy Shields. From Netflix's Insatiable. Insatiable. But tonight you can catch us on Noches con Platanito. Also, Debbie Ryan is doing a podcast where she's having most everyone from the cast of Insatiable come in and have like an in-depth talk about some of the themes of the show. So that should be fun. Mileage goal, 32 miles this week. I actually feel okay about it. I mean, as long as my knees hold up. All right, that's the update. We'll see you on the flip side. Hey gang, week six, day one. After my eight miler yesterday, and since I didn't have any appointments this morning, I decided to not do an early morning in the dark run, and instead get some extra sleep, which I think was good. Just finished five miles at what I felt was a nice easy pace. Finished at 50 minutes and nine seconds, so barely over a 10 minutes mile, which I feel totally fine about. And these felt really good. Some very minor discomfort early on in the run, but then fine the rest of the way. My feet feel tired, which is new, so I think I really do need to do get an ice bath in. I think that'll help or at least a nice foot soak but I think a nice bath would be better so I'm gonna try and make that happen this week um, it's funny what I'm also noticing is like I get settled in after a while and I kind of feel like after I've got four miles in then I can go much further but like somewhere around between mile one and two I want to stop <laughs> so that's where I'm at all right it is week six day two just finished five miles. I uh, was going for pace today and uh, did pretty well. Finished in 46 minutes, 45 seconds. So it's good, sub 10 minute miles. And uh, knees are really feeling great, almost back to normal. Only a slight twinge once in my left knee. The rest of the time fine. My right foot is hurting still. I basically running on my toes for the first couple miles, which helped. And then was able to put, do more of a heel toe stride after that. So it doesn't feel worse than yesterday. I will see anyway, I iced it before I ran, which helped. I tried putting heel 
heat on it this morning after I woke up, which really did not help. It actually made it substantially worse. For a while I was hobbling around. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to run today. So the ice was a miracle worker. So I'm gonna do that some more. They had an interview today for Insatiable's premiere, which is next week. The trailer was released yesterday. Oh, that just never really does get old. By the time this comes out, you know all this. Hopefully binge the entire second season by now. If not, you've got homework. But it was the first time in an interview that I was talking about this process, about running the marathon and putting this up on YouTube and raising money for a Culture City Save Vehicle, which we've settled on this week that that's gonna be the specific ask for this. 25 grand, we can get there. We got the, I'm anxious to get the Hoka shoes to try. Hoka is gonna sponsor me for this run. They have generously donated $5,000 to uh, Culture City. Very, very appreciative of the fine folks over at Hoka. Can't wait to get the shoes on and try it out. Hi, week six, day four. Took yesterday off to rest my foot and look for an insert. You know those machines they have in the CVS where you can get your custom, it does like a map of your foot. You stand on this pad and it tells you which shoe insert's gonna be perfect for you. So I did that, but then they didn't have the one in stock, so I didn't get the insert. I did the kettlebell exercises though. Um, and then yesterday, went to another CVS, just got some regular running inserts. I used those this morning and we'll see how it goes. Like during the run, my foot felt pretty good. It took about a mile to get used to the arch support on my right foot, but after that, it was fine. The knees felt good. Only the tiniest of twinge in my left knee during the run. Five miles in 48 minutes, so a little bit slower than the other day, which is kind of irritating, frankly. But, what are you gonna do? Hey, I uh, was trying to get in six miles this morning, but yesterday, stepping awkwardly on the grass, don't you remember how I said that my calves have been really tight? I think I told you that. Well, stepping awkwardly on the grass felt almost like a little tear. Like, you know, a pull, a stretch in my right calf. I was feeling pretty okay this morning, so I came out for the run. It was fine until I got to the hill. Halfway up the hill, no bueno. So, I think I'm gonna have to call it short today, which is really frustrating because, hold on, I'm just gonna walk. Uh, because with my foot and my knees, and physical therapy, you know, just life this week, I only did 15 miles. It was three five mile runs, so that was good, but only 15. And then today was gonna be six. But now that's not gonna happen. So I'm really frustrated because the race is a month and a day away. Confident that I'm gonna be able to finish it, I am not so confident that I'm gonna be able to run the whole thing. And frankly, like at this point, I just wanna make sure that I'm healthy on race day so I don't have to stop. So we're gonna have to figure out another conditioning option, which for me, I guess, is gonna be the spin bike because that's what I've got. I'll save you the sad walk home. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best I got right now. Even now, and sitting up is easier because my calf hurts. I'm standing on it, leaning too far forward. Anyway, I have 10 more minutes on this thing. <sighs> All right, that was week six. Getting closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting closer. Reminder, we have set our fundraising goal of $25,000 for the Culture City Save vehicle. It looks like Hoka is coming through with sponsorship. <laughs> okay. So I'm excited uh, to see the details of what that is. The shoe company. No, I know what the company is. Oh, I know. I just want to make sure that you told everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Some other exciting things that happened this week. I went and did an interview at Noches con Platanitos, where a clown tried to get me drunk on television. And of so course, happened. it was a Mexican clown. <laughs> it was really fun. Clearly. It was really fun. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Mexican people have to have clowns that get you drunk at CV. White people have clowns that kill you. Mexican people have clowns <laughs> that, get that get you drunk. drunk. <laughs> okay, proceed. Proceed. Thank you, baby. Also went and did Debbie's podcast. Debbie Ryan. She's yeah. the best. So that's gonna be coming out um, sometime soon. And then we got to go to a really cool event. I don't wanna name drop, but <laughs> we're friends with Alec Mappa and Morgan Fairchild. Yeah. And if you ever wanna like go out to and have an amazing dinner party. You have to have those two there. They're just great, great They're people. They're amazing. And, great and people. Alec was co-hosting the Family Equality Gala with Max Greenfield, who we know from our Ugly Betty days. So we went and had an amazing time and they raised close oh to $700,000. I was so impressed by the fundraising at this gala. It was fabulous. It was so impressive. And, and it was for families, for same-sex couples, for 
uh, to become parents and to just have the same rights as Chris and I have, yeah. as you guys have, to just to be parents. To have a family. To have a family. And families look all kinds of ways. It was really inspiring. So inspiring. In that spirit, because we're also trying to do something great and inspiring here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to like the videos, and donate to our fundraiser to raise money for a saved vehicle for Culture City. Let's make a difference in some people's lives. Yeah. Thanks, we'll see you next week.